So I hadn't clicked on this channel in a while. So I, I clicked on my own channel. This is my secondary channel. I have secondary channels, tertiary channels. I think I've got a total of five now. Most I don't use, but this one, this one is the channel that is connected with my Google Plus account, as opposed to having its own Google Plus account. And, um, yeah. So I got this notification, said, by the way, we're not going to monetize your videos until you get 10,000 views. And I was like, that blows. But you know what? I actually have a computer, a T30 uh, ThinkPad, old, old T30, that I can turn on and say, yes, do nothing but watch videos. Sit in the corner and watch those videos and, and boost my, my views. And then I noticed that the views, I believe they update at midnight. Your channel views do. So they're not real time. So it's, here's the thing, I could have a viral video, theoretically I could have a viral video viraling for a full day, nearly 24 hours, before I get credit. And when you think of this in terms of, like, if, say, Jeremy Johns, just for example, liked one of my videos and tweeted it out, yes, I could get 10,000 views in that time. YouTube, look, I've gotten two payouts for my Google AdSense. And here you are coming out with another reason not to pay me. A lot of the, the stuff on this channel was Trisha Hirschberger's Naked Truth. So I know it gets the golden dollar sign, that dreaded golden dollar sign that says, hey, we can't monetize this you're only going to get very few, very little ad revenue because this is something that people don't want to see. And, you know, I put out three videos in a row and they just got the golden, the golden, golden dollar sign on Random Street Theater, my regular channel. So I have to put this out there, YouTube. Do you guys not understand? I, as a creator, don't have a lot of reasons to stay with your format. You've made it harder and harder for the little guy to make an impact. You know, it, it, I, I click on my YouTube and you direct me to these big channels with all these views and all these people. And that's not something I need to deal with. I don't need to care about those guys. You know, I can't make my videos better unless I get feedback. And people who are my friends, who are invested in my channel they're probably going to do their best to be overly nice to me. They're not going to say, hey, you say um too much, or you're too slow, or you're boring, or you need to tell more jokes, or your jokes suck and you shouldn't say them anymore. They're not going to do those things. So I don't get the feedback. And now you've added another obstacle. Despite the fact that I've got well over 10,000 views across all my channels, and quite frankly, I think across all my channels, I've got something like 60,000. I know on the main channel it's 50,000 views, so that's there. But I mean, this, this secondary channel has around 2,000 views, so, you know, there's where I am. And I'm going, well, you know, so what do I do with this channel? Do I just stop updating it? And obviously that's not true because I'm making a video for it. But this is kind of what I've decided to do. I'm going to... I'm going to not promote this channel until I hit a hundred a hundred videos, and then I'm going to going to try to I'm going to go in in with my other channel and like all those videos. So at least I'll see a big surge in likes, and this is legal. You know, one channel one of your channels can watch another. But huh. anyway, I'll probably do a 100 videos video, and then that's like okay. So at that point, then I know. Then I know, yes. Do that thing. Okay. Anyway. So that's where I'm at right now. It's a living. It's not a great one. So I'd like to hear what you think down in the comments below. Do you think people shouldn't get paid for the first 10,000 views on their channel? 
Or do you think YouTube needs to stop putting obstacles between me and getting paid? Mind you, 10,000 views, you're not going to get a check. You need to make at least 100 bucks to get a check. But this just seems like one more thing where it's like, hey, come on, YouTube. Although I will also have to point out, it gets rid of the spammers. People that are uploading video after video after video for no good reason. You know, they, uh... I once saw channels that uploaded like 10,000 videos the first day they were there because they're like, yeah, we just want more of these videos out there and hopefully YouTube will see them. Okay, well, that's that's going to get rid of if you have a minimum of 10,000 views. So, there's that. But, as another point, you know, it makes buying views. I think I could buy 10,000 views for uh, 10 bucks, and, and I think the, the, the websites always say, no, this is guaranteed. I don't know how true that is, but no, this is guaranteed. You won't get your channel dinged for buying views. I mean, I, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that, but this does make it more attractive. So, yeah, good and bad. Which do you think, more good or more bad? I'm Richard Leland Neal.